in the shadow of the Old Witch Post Office, scrutiny of that same British institution. After politicians pass their judgment, the statutory inquiry starts its next phase. And this time, the investigator becomes the investigated. Stephen Bradshaw worked for the post office, questioning sub-postmasters over missing money from their branches. I'm the nothing truth. but the truth. The, truth. the investigations were done correctly. He denies bullying, lying and knowledge of issues with Horizon, the faulty computer software which led to hundreds of wrongful convictions. Each solitary, quite often terrified sub-postmaster sitting across an interview desk from you or one of your team would have been told that they were the only ones with a problem. Isn't that right? I've never said that to anybody I've interviewed, that you're the only one that has this issue. I have never said that, and I will stick to that. When you were either giving or prepared to give expert evidence, Mr Bradshaw, the problems with Horizon were obvious, weren't they? I've said before, and I will say it again, I am not an expert on the Horizon system. It just was important for me to look him in the eye. Watching his evidence, Shazia, who lost her home, narrowly escaped prosecution and describes feeling intimidated. Where's the money, Shazia? What have you done with the money? Where is the money? He grew um, increasingly frustrated with me and then even swore at me as well. I was all by myself, all by myself, a single mum with two children, very frightened, didn't know what the future held for me. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm emotional. Will you finally deliver justice for the postmasters? This week, the Prime Minister announced new legislation to overturn convictions and offer compensation. Joe Hamilton was convicted of false accounting and says the campaign group isn't satisfied with government action. They need to fast track, and I mean fast track. People are older now. We're all 20 years older than we were. Um, and some people will be getting towards the end. Why shouldn't they have their money back at the very least and a comfortable retirement? You know, we're not asking for millions. And it's easy to forget that all this has been going on for three years, an inquiry that began back in 2021, but now with increasing political heat and a renewed focus including on the post office itself and its drive to use powers to privately prosecute. The fundamental conflict of interest was that the post office was the victim who had supposedly lost the money and the victim had the power to investigate and prosecute people. So there's a total conflict of interest there. The inquiry continues, but this time it's different. Public momentum's behind it with accountability at the forefront. Adele Robinson, Sky News.